Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I'm gonna make a little bit different video here and talk about affiliate marketing and using outside code or links that you would paste into your page using 90 Second Website Builder. Now in this example, I'm gonna use the Amazon Associates program because it's a common and popular affiliate program. But this principle applies to any outside code that you might get from say AdSense, the Google AdSense program, or maybe the ClickBank Hoplink code or any kind of code that you would get from a third party to place banners and widgets and links on your website. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go first to the Amazon Associates program. I've already logged in here into this account and Amazon's great because it gives us a lot of examples to work with. At Amazon we can pick up links just directly to products or banner links or there's even some widgets that do some kind of cool things. So let's look at a couple of examples. Let's start with a simple product link. So at Amazon, you can create a product link for any product at Amazon. And once you have searched for and found the product you want to advertise on your website, uh, you just simply click the button that says get the link. What we're looking for from Amazon and from any company that gives us code is just a bunch of HTML code. And in this case, they're giving us this code right here. You don't need to know how the code works. You just need to know where it is. And um, in Amazon, they let you make adjustments to how, what this looks like. What the, Here's the preview of what it's going to look like. Uh, once you've got you know the widget the way you want it to look like, all you need is this code, which we're now going to copy. I've highlighted it. I'm going to copy it. And let me minimize this so that we can go back to 90 Second Website Builder. Now, whenever we're working with this kind of code, we want to work with a tool called the HTML tool which is down in the advanced uh, menu, but don't let that scare you. It's actually really easy to use, and it's a common tool to use. So I've just picked up the HTML tool. I'm going to drag a box out here. Now you'll notice the size of the box I made. It really is going to have no effect on this object because the size of the object is actually determined by the code. I'm going to double click on this and paste the code that it got from Amazon. In my case, I'll just right click and paste. And there's what Amazon gave us. Looks a little bit different because it's kind of stretched out in one long line, but that's the code that Amazon gave us. Okay, click okay. Now, you can't see it because it, the, the way this works is we have to preview. And you'll notice again, notice the size of this box. And when I hit preview, you'll see that the size of my HTML box doesn't really matter. This is the size of the image Amazon gave us. So then how do you control what that's going to look like, the end result? Well, here's a little trick. Let me close the preview here. The trick is you want to get used to looking at the anchor corner. That's this top corner on the top left hand side. This is what matters the most. So it won't matter if my HTML box is this small or this big. The image that they give me is going to start in this corner that's anchored right there. So I'll show you what I mean. I could make this really small and it's still going to look the same because Amazon's deciding on what that image uh, looks like and how big it is. Let me close this. So when I want to place my image or my link or my widget, I want to look at, I want to be looking at this corner because this is what matters. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's go to the very top. I'll put the corner at the very top and we'll go let's say 100 pixels in. I know it's 100 pixels because I'm looking at the ruler. And now when I preview F5 you'll see what happened. It came in 100 pixels but we're looking at this corner because Amazon again decided on the size. So I think that's pretty clear. Again doesn't matter how big I make this or how small I make this. Let's go look at another one. This time let's get say a banner and what's great is Amazon lets you pick banners from any category. Let's pick one from uh, Amazon Wireless and we can find a, here's a nice big square banner and then uh, they've got uh, here's a big tall skinny tower one. Let's do that one just to make a point here. So let's say we want to put this banner on the website. I'm going to highlight here. I can do this. Highlight this or select it, copy, and then let's uh, go back to 90 Second Website Builder. Again, I'm going to get my HTML tool. You can use that multiple times on the page. Drag it out here, double click. I'm going to paste my code right here. 
By the way, I can put a description in here if I really want to, but it's just an option. That's just for my own reference. And so here's where my Amazon Tower ad is going to appear. Look what happens. Again, the size is determined by the code. Very easy to do though, as you can see. So what I, when I'm placing these and I want to control how big they look, it's really important to do two things. To look at the top corner and to keep previewing my work because you can't preview this type of object on the canvas. You have to preview it by hitting F5 to see what it's going to look like when it's published to the web. Let's do one more just for fun because Amazon has kind of a cool widget program or system here where you can create you know all kinds of different fancy schmancy things to put on your website. And actually, if you're an Amazon associate or Amazon affiliate, you, you probably know about this, but these are pretty fun things that make your website look cool. Here's a fun one. It's popular, the carousel widget. So let's add this one to our web page. And what it's going to do is let me choose, you know, what category of products I want to I wanna advertise. Let's do, uh, just to be different, let's do baby car seats. Next step now is to get that code. Here's a preview of what the widget's going to look like. Here's all the baby car seats. It's kind of a neat little uh, thing that happens because it's uh, animated. All right, so let's get the code. I'm going to add this to my web page. So they're going to give me a bunch of gobbledygook here, it looks like, right here. Copy this. I guess it gave me a copy button I could have used. Close that up. Let's move this out of the way. And let's go get that HTML tool again. Put our widget out here. I don't know how big it is. Again, this is all that matters is right here. Double click. I'll paste it. There's my widget code. Again, it looks different because here it's kind of stretched out. Go OK. All right. So it probably looks, you know, something like this. Again, it won't matter. I'm going to preview. And you'll see what happened is I actually overlapped it on this because I forgot that this tower comes all the way down here. But here's the widget. See? So that's why you preview so you can fix these problems. Let me fix that again. Let me close this. See, this is going to run into it because this actually came down, you know, something like this. So let's move it over here. And now let's preview. There it is. That looks much better. And there's my Amazon widget, carousel widget. It's kind of a cool thing. All right, so if you're an Amazon associate, that's how easy it is to add stuff to your website. But the same principle, like I said, applies for any kind of outside code, any kind of third-party code you'd get from your affiliate program. Just use the HTML tool and keep previewing your work with that F5 to see where these banners and ads will be displayed on your website. But easy to do in 90 Second Website Builder.